Hi there again, YouTubers. I'm glad to present again another travel documentary filmmaker video guide. Just as I promised earlier, in this segment of the video, I'll be discussing in more detail what I carry in my lightweight backpack when I embark on my video shooting research work deep into the rainforest jungle. Having to do trekking over long distance in the sweaty tropical rainforest, all effort to minimizing total weight in my backpack is of prime consideration. In this video, I'll be sharing with you some of the essential gears that I carry with me in my backpack. Join me. Let me start off with my high-end but heavy Nikon D800E DSLR camera with its 24 to 300mm lens, both with a total weight of 2kg. That is mounted on a Triopo collapsible carbon fiber tripod weighing 1.75kg. This kind of setup will be most useful for my video shooting project in urban location, but I will definitely not carry it on my remote research excursion, mainly because of the chunky weight addition to my backpack. Instead, these days, I would rather prefer to carry along a lightweight but full HD resolution Canon power shot weighing only 250 gram with a light but sturdy Yuntek VCT 5218RM tripod weighing only 740 gram that satisfactorily need my videography requirement. I might sometime also carry this Manfrotto 568B monopod with a Manfrotto 7014DV swivel video camera mount which total weight of 1.7 kilogram which at tough time can also function as my walking stick when doing jungle trekking. This DJI Osmo extender rod and mini tripod can also alternatively function as a makeshift microphone boom pole when so required with a reasonably long reach when fully extended. I make use of another unit of the lightweight Yuntek selfie stick and mini tripod to function as my LED lighting stand. To ensure that it will not be toppled by the wind, I secure the mini tripod legs to the ground with camping tent pegs. The Yuntek selfie stick is strong enough to support my Samsung Galaxy S7. By setting my S7 smartphone camera volume button function to a capture video mode, I can activate the video capture on off remotely using its Bluetooth remote controller. For a selfie shot, I will use my low res SD format of 640 480p from my Canon G10 supported on a Joby Gorilla Pod that weighs only 0.5 kg. Though low res, I can still take advantage of its lens, zooming and micro features and will stretch it to full HD scale later in post-production. For easy gripping to any branches or trees, I have my 4K action camera on a smaller GorillaPod stand. Through a downloadable apps, I can remotely activate and have it previewed or mirrored to either my smartphone or to my Galaxy Tab A. When so needed, I also have another action camera in its underwater casing for underwater shots. When in the field, I also use my Samsung Tab A for its bigger screen to preview captured images, video footage as well. I also use it for my research write-ups and planning to replace my laptop, which I will explain later in another video. All movement shots will be captured through my smartphone on a Xeon Smooth Q gimbal to ensure quality stabilized shot. This model has joystick knob to manually control the camera angle movement. It has a 3 quarter inch screw nut at its base that can be fitted to any pole extender for catch capturing jeep like angle shot. I also purchased a later version of the gimbal, the exciting Xeon Smooth 4, which has a zooming and follow focus knob for more cinematic camera shot, plus many other powerful features. This DJI Osmo was my first ever handheld gimbal 
that I purchased after buying my first DJI drone and I really had a great time playing with it. The paper notepad and the power bank is always a handy resource that I always carry along with me without fail. I will discuss more about this power source in another video later. Here are some of my present collection of cameras that is still in use for, for my videography and photography endeavors. These high-end DSLR cameras will be used for urban location shooting project only but will be less seldom used for off-grid location mainly because of its massive weight. These compact cameras, the smartphone and the action cameras is now my preferred gear these days because all I need is a full HD, a 1920x1080p resolution video footages. No doubt shooting in 4K resolution will be great but it's too heavy on the data storage space and still need to be downgraded to full HD again later in post-production. In total, these are my collection of collapsible stand and lightweight tripod that easily fits into my backpack. I might still finally select which one to bring along to reduce my backpack weight again depending on the location need. And as usual, if you find this video useful, please click the like button below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not done so yet. See you again in my next episode.